<sighs> Long day on the job. Uh, well. Hey man, how's it going? How are you holding up? My ship's done. I'm heading home now. Hey dude, you've been feeling weird for the past week. You don't talk much now. You used to get my attention a lot. Oh, hey, throwing a few pieces of paper at me. So, um, it's on your mind, bro. I'm actually gonna be heading out soon. I'm going home. Maybe watch a little bit of Netflix. Etc. After that, tomorrow will be another day for me, you know, as usual. But what's up to you? Yeah, not much neither. Well, I need to go home soon, but it appears that I just need to clean up first. I made a huge mess here on my desk. Even that coffee spilling, yeah, hasn't dried up. I could still feel the stain on my shirt. Sheesh, just didn't know drinking the coffee too fast would actually be very hot for me. <sighs> well, anyway, what's on your mind? I know that you don't have much to say, and neither do I, but... Well, let's start a conversation. We haven't had one of these since Monday. Well, we haven't talked all week. Anyway, I'm, I'm gonna stay here. Just need to clean a few things. Just give me a minute. Let me just pick this up. And there. Got it. Well... Anyway, I'm just gonna take a break. I mean, sorry. It's just that something's up with me a little. I haven't been feeling myself. All right. To be honest, I have been drinking too much adrenaline. All those energy drinks just got into your head, and I got a feeling the side effects are pouring in. Yeah, this morning I just drank the energy drink. I'm not going to say which one because then you'll go after it. And I drank the coffee. Twice the pump. Yeah, and also took one of those pills. Yeah, I'm not going to tell you. So, yeah, I'm a little bit rushed at the moment. That's why I want to take it all out with this conversation that you and I do you want to have this conversation? Because I'm quite pumped up at the moment. But by tomorrow, I'll be back to normal. If you don't want the conversation, I'll just go. I'll just take it all out with some Netflix. Or maybe my console. I'll probably play some Injustice 2. Well, Mental Combat games. No. I'm also into old school. Maybe play Pokemon. Yeah. Or probably play Pokemon Go on my way out of here. Well, I don't care how dangerous it could be. But I don't care. Never run into anything when I was playing that since 2000 and I don't know how long. I've been playing it for quite a long time. Well, anyway. Which would you like to talk about? Well, I've noticed that you've been feeling a little odd. I have noticed that your face is crunching. What? Is it something to do with someone? Or is it just uh, too much work? Lonely. What, like how lonely? Oh. Yeah, yeah, I know. We're all going through that. Well, uh, I'm actually creating an account next month on Tinder. I'm trying this out. But the thing is, I'm actually... Quite a nervous fellow myself. A 
for Christ's sakes. We're all shy, man. Listen, all of us are going through the same thing. But you know how some of us get lucky? Because we're facing ourselves. We take that fear down and we actually approach someone and meet them. Well, this reminds me of a story back in middle school. Want to hear it? Well, all right, sit back, relax, enjoy the popcorn because we don't have any. Well, I was younger and I was in middle school, maybe the eighth grade. I had a crush on a girl and I wanted to ask her out, but I couldn't because I didn't have the courage. But as for myself, I was a very shy fella and the school year ended and I never talked to her, not even a single word, because we were in different classes, you know. And, once we graduated, we never saw each other again. You see? I missed my chance, too. And she's not the first one I had a crush on. I had several. Well, I do remember my very first crush. Maybe that was somewhere in, maybe, third grade. But, I don't think I even remember her name anymore. I don't know, I had a lot of memories. I'm already a grown man, and I have been stocking up on too much TV. And video games. And a few other things. But, I never talked to any of those girls I had a crush on in school. Well, not until I reached college. So yeah. I made my way through college, and there was a girl. She was sitting maybe at a public bench. She was studying, and I finally had the courage to approach her. I walked up to her and talked to her. Well, I said hi. She said hi back. Well, then I told her, how are you? And she said, good, how are you? And I said, I'm fine. What are you studying? Well, um, she said, uh, she's just studying for an exam. Well, and uh, she kind of already noticed me. She's noticing that she's getting into a conversation. And, well, the thing is that she's quite busy and she's not in the mood for talking because... She said that I was distracting her, and I just apologized. I said I was sorry for causing her a distraction. I just wanted to say hi, and I walked away. And it was really hard for me to take that rejection. Well, that's what I would call it, but I can't remember it much. That was just a blurry memory that I wanted to put away for a long time because that was my first time getting refused. Well, um, we all have to be strong, you know. I know that all of us just focus on things that we desire. I had a female friend. Well, um... She told me how a lot of girls feel. A lot of girls just feel focused on what they want to achieve, you know. Well, um, they all just want to accomplish something in their life. And sometimes they just nearly repeat the same thing every day. Because she told me that she was one of them and she experienced it. She once said, all the girls are robots. All they do is focus on their objective and repeat every day. Beep boop. <laughs> she was just trying to be funny. But I clearly got her point. But as for myself, I am quite a grown man. And I'm guessing that now us adults can now have the opportunity. Because, right now, the women that work with us in this place, 
are finally looking for a better life. And a few of them are looking for a gentleman. Probably someone with some skill. Probably someone like us. Although, that's what she told me. Well, she told me quite a lot. Well, she told me that once they achieve their goal or what they want to achieve, they can have a better life. But there are some who are just wanting to do that earlier. That's why they have a boyfriend in their early age. And some of these girls in their early teenage years with their boyfriends sometimes are looking for a man who are seeking for help or assistance. Or some who are just ready for a relationship. And some who are quite normal. Some who study together and some who just like to hang out and have a lot of fun like a normal couple well that's what she told me the normal type of relationship and that's how they go but she did tell me this there's this one of one common relationship this type of girl that actually switches relationship to another every week because she told me that she's one of them she told me she had several boyfriends along the way but none of them match so I turned them all down oh, and I have no idea why she even told me that but oh, I never wanted to learn that but I already did anyway um, I wasn't interested in dating anymore until I was fully grown. And here I am. About to take that opportunity. I'll be creating another account next month. Going on online Tinder. Maybe trying to find someone to meet. All this, all these co-workers that are female that work with us. Well, they're just quite a little different. I don't know them quite much. And some of them are just a little too mature for me since I'm barely practicing my romantic pickup lines well that friend has told me a few lines that will work want to hear one of them I would like to know you a little better so I would like to give you my invitation to my party so quite clever would you like to go out with me sometime but don't worry, I will not force you to be mine. Well, I just said it. That's one of my lines, but I'm very shy to use it. Well, anyway. Listen, man, I'm just going to tell you this. If you just want to meet someone, just don't be afraid. Listen. If you couldn't find anyone back in your early age, in high school or in college, it's okay. Not a lot of guys get to meet someone at their early age. As for us, well, we're already in our 20s or maybe 30s, maybe until 40s, and we're still looking for someone. I know there are some females that don't want a relationship and some are not ready for it and some just never wanted one at all in the first place but I will say this not everyone on earth is the same there are many others maybe are also looking for someone it doesn't matter which gender it is everyone is looking for someone and everyone is looking to be alone but nobody is never the same we're all different well that's what I got to say but 
just, if you're going to meet someone, just be, be nice, all right? And uh, be honest with her or him. It doesn't matter who it is. I really don't care. Yeah, just be honest, be nice, be cool. Well, you can be yourself if you want, but please don't lie. Lying will just get it even worse. Well, all I can do is wish you luck. Hope you find that person. And I hope you find what you're looking for. That's clearly much it. Anyway, I'm a little exhausted now. For sure that conversation already drained me. Yeah. So, um, wish you luck. I hope you find that special someone. So, I'll be heading home now. I'm drained. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll be heading home now. Oh, if you want another conversation, well, I'll need another energy drink. If you can buy one for me. So yeah. Bye.